is the press on nail trend worth it if you're a pro if you're a consumer should you partake in this trend we're going to talk about it right now on the biz talk partake you partake <laughs> I always say partake, and then I ask Tracy about, you know, how to phrase this in my intro, <laughs> and she said partake, and so partake it is. I love that word partake. Shall we partake? It's very formal. It's funny. The more you say it, the weirder it sounds. Partake, like. partake, partake. Still weird. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Moving on. The press on nail trend. I think the first thing is is this a trend implying that press on nails are they're going to be here and then they're going to go oh, yeah yeah in and um out. and when we're talking about press on nails we're talking about we're talking about full coverage tips yes. right like we just launched a set of them uh recently black friday so we are in this business now with press on nails for reasons mm -hmm. Um, is this something that the pro should consider? What about the consumer? How do you incorporate this in your business if you're a pro? How do consumers use the product? Let's take it step by step. Let's talk pro first. Pro first. If you're a pro, how are they going to incorporate this if they're going to partake in this trend? Well, if they'd like to get involved in this trend. <laughs> well, um, is it a trend first? Or no, you, uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's okay. not. It, it's it's temporary set. Let's let's that's clarify. Let's clarify. Um, so what what do you mean? Like the reason I say temporary set is it is not something you maintain. You either remove and reapply, or you just keep it temporarily for a party or something like that. Yeah, and then you remove them and you're done. So anything to me that isn't maintained, like they come in and I do a fill, yeah, um, is a temporary set. Okay, so it's a temporary set. As a professional nail technician, let's talk about this first. As a pro nail tech that has a full clientele, right? Is this something that you're gonna bring on? Or let me ask you this, what would be a situation that you would bring this on? So I used to do temporary sets. It wasn't with full covered Back in the day, they, we just didn't have it. It was, okay. you know, it was kind of like a, a regular tip with like maybe a thin silk layer over the top. Oh, I'm aging myself. Whoa. Way back in the day. Whoa. <laughs> just wanted to do that. Um, so, you know, f form parties, uh, eighth grade graduation, uh, anybody that was, you know, wanting it just for two to three weeks or two to you know, a month, you know, until it grew out and you were done with it. Um, yeah, I would, I would have that. So, okay. in, you know, just in case, however, however, um, for me, I like to maintain. Yeah. It, so if I had a, I would probably have the coffin, the stiletto and the almond laying around just in case, you know, one of my friend's kids are doing something and they need a temporary set. I had a full clientele. I was not right. going to be doing that very often. Right. That, that That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So full clientele. I want to maintain. I do not want to have to soak something off. And I know there's some people that are doing that. And that's that's fine. Um, you know, probably would have more of a need for it if I didn't have a full clientele. Because okay. then, you, you know, this is the party season. People are getting temporary sets. They do yeah. just want it for a month. Totally. So take advantage use it um practicing your nail art things like that it's i mean this is what i use them because we do fashion shows right work amazing for stuff yeah. like that in well out. i i think that as a full booked nail tech today i still think it's a everything you're saying is a hundred percent true but there's an opportunity to retail Right. There's now, an opportunity to put it on social media. So like you got a full clientele, yep. obviously you're busy, but if you want to branch into temporary sets and even during this time, you know, with COVID and there's lockdown and it's open and it's closed and all this, this shit going on right now, excuse my language, but it's, <gasps> it's a little frustrating. Young. Tracy offended. I'm offended. Um, 
this I th- I think I see the need there with with a full book somebody that typically have a full book clientele maybe has there's some challenges it's a great way to pivot and and kind of look at other opportunities to to retail your work through social media and so I've seen a lot of nail techs doing that they're creating these custom sets right yeah, yeah. and that's great so that is a different situation so if we're talking everything's good you have a full clientele business is good and would I feel a need to have it? Yes, I'd have a box laying around just sure, in case, for sure. just in cases. Yeah. Would I be doing that on a regular basis? No. COVID has changed a lot of Everything. things. Um, so, you know, if I was locked down and can't do clients, I'm going to be trying to figure some stuff out. Absolutely. I'm going to try to, okay, can I, what, what can I sell these for? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm going to yeah. be giving it a whirl. Offering it to my customers that can't come in. Hey, I'm, I can't do you. However, you can still have my work. Yeah. You know, maybe put some um, certain looks on your Instagram page. Absolutely. Market it. Yep. You know, yep. so yes, that is a great way to supplement what you're missing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I, I think even like if things get back to normal, you should still like you keep them. Maybe you create in not that you're going to have a lot of spare time if you're fully booked. Obviously, you're yeah, not going to have I a lot mean, of time, but I would still have as insurance. You just don't know when things are going to change, right? Yeah, like have it, a little backup plan. And like I said, good thing. I would still, even with doing as many clients as I did, have I them, have them yeah. ju- just, just in, in case. case. You know? Okay, so let's talk about this then. For somebody that's trying to build a clientele, mm-hmm. they're not fully booked. Let's say they're 50% booked but they have quite a bit of open space would this be something that they could utilize you know uh different from somebody that's got a a full clientele something that they can utilize to bring in more clientele to expose their work to more people yes and no (laughs) i don't like it i'm gonna be completely honest so no i want you to be dishonest lie tracy i'm gonna be I know I'm going to get some crap is what I'm saying. Um, I think it's great to bring them in. And and like I said, right now there's parties, that, you know, well, as much parties, Zoom parties, um, you know, that, uh, right. you know, it, a great way to market. Again, a great way to market, you know, if you're selling them, things like that. Like if you're building a clientele, you're trying to make an income, use every possible Absolutely. avenue that you can have. Correct. Is this something I'm going to feature as my full sets? No. Okay. No. Well, well, it it wouldn't it it shouldn't be no. a it this this your full sets are your full sets like like you have your main services of acrylic of gel. Obviously, you want to build a business around maintenance long term. But if you're at fifty percent capacity, you, like you said, you should use every means to expose your work because. Let's say you've got somebody that's like, you know, I don't want to wear acrylics, right. but I want to have a, you know, a weekend set or a set for two weeks. Perfect. Perfect. Right. You're going to make some money. Put it on your board. Temporary sets. Right. Last, last this long. But Great. even, but even outside of that, it exposes your work. So for example, that person then goes out and she's got friends that do wear acrylics right. and gels. Yeah. And obviously these that you put on. They're going to look really good. They're going to get attention. So then what happens? Where'd you get those nails? I, I, oh, this is my, my nail tech. She's amazing. I don't wear acrylics normally. I wanted to wear these for a couple weeks, but she does do acrylics and gels. Yeah. You should, dude, it's a great way to expose yeah. your work. I think where I'm trying to word carefully is I have seen that people, this is how they're doing their full sets. Oh, like, like they're building their, their business. They're building their business this way. And people are coming in in three weeks. They're soaking them completely off yeah. and doing it again. And it's soaking it off and doing it again. That's so, a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It is. And I, 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 I want want you know and if that's how you're comfortable and that's how you have to start i get it totally please let's work on those full sets let's you know i love working on the tips you know why because i can paint them i can do all kinds of crazy art i don't have to worry about the cuticle area i don't have to worry about any of that of course i go to the show or the photo shoot and i slap those puppies on and like they're great they're great they're great but I, i i try to hot tail it out of that building before the models come back so I don't have to remove them. <laughs> right. You know, right. so I, I don't want to see my client come back in two to three weeks and have to soak. Right. You know, um, I'm again soaking 
for the majority of the part anyway, right. I'd like to electric file. Electrifying these is more difficult because yeah, it, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't yeah. do that. So that's where I, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like offer it, heck yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Use no, it no, for no. what it is. I I think uh like th- this is you know tips are even just tips in general, right? We always say um we urge you to learn how to sculpt we urge yeah. you to learn how maintenance, to maintenance 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 that's you know this is like even we, we've butter. sold tips our entire career because it's a great way to to still do nails right as you're building your skills and as you're doing that as you're building your clientele is this something that you can offer um, to on, as you're on your way to expose your work, yes, and you should utilize every tool and always do that. But we're also going to tell you, like Tracy is saying, you need to build your your sculpting, your acrylic game, your your hard gel game, yeah. dude. We want the best for you, and this is where you're going to make the most money, and this is where you're going to, especially in maintenance. Correct? Yes. Like maintenance of acrylic and gel is where you're going to make. Bank. If you're pricing it right, you're gonna make you're bank. Gonna be, there are no need for full sets. You're Absolutely. gonna be making it off the, off the um, fills. Um, now, what I would love to see them use these for, and I think this, especially if you're building, do a bunch of sets. Like when you got downtime, have one of your friends that have great hands come in. You get these tabs. You put them on. Photograph. Get oh, stuff for your Instagram. Great. Remove them because the tabs aren't glued down. That you just remove. What are those? They're the tack, right? The tacky. Yeah, they're called adhesive tabs. Yeah, like get them on Amazon. And I use those a lot for photo shoots when we have to remove and they're doing like different looks. Sure. And so cool because I mean, you can bust it out while yeah. you don't have someone in front of you. Have someone come in, take those shots, build up that Instagram profile. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, you know? absolutely. That's a, that's another great use for for that yeah. and um, they're beautifully shaped i have to say they're because they're insanely they've come beautiful yeah a long way yeah they, they absolutely. didn't used to look like that yeah That's, totally i mean they've had full cover for a long time and it was like Ooh, no, yeah the shape is no <laughs> no these well, are beautiful so let, let's talk about this now that for the consumer for just the general consumer that's mm-hmm. that wants to wear long nails, right? And but they're also not um, obviously like this is not a long term strategy for that we recommend, you know, us. But it's still a great way to wear nails, beautifully shaped nails. Yep. It's still a great way to do so. But for the consumer, I think this is a great way that they could play. You know what I mean? And put these on. And have these nails. If you're not someone that um, normally wears acrylic or gel, and maybe you don't want to, well, right? Or things are shut down. Or I have things no are shut down. I have no choice. This is this is the biggest. This is the biggest it's thing. It's huge. Yeah. And or I, it, I mean, I had clients. That, you know, every once in a while would come in and like they're used to wearing short nails, never wore nails, and they are going to their party or whatever, and they want them long. And totally. it's funny they walk around like it's completely foreign <laughs> to them. They're just like trying to pick things up, but it's great for that. Yeah. Now he, I just want to talk about this though because. We, we posted about our tips, right? Yeah. And people were like, and we're selling it with glue, which I love. Um, and people were like, they don't last. These last. Yeah. I have them on. <laughs> Still. It, it's three weeks. Yeah. I mean, this they last. So it's perfect for yeah. someone sitting at home who's like, you know, I everything's shut down or I have that special party. They're not going to fling off that night and they're right. going to be beautifully shaped. Right. Absolutely. And, and that's, I love this option, you know, for those purposes, yeah. you know, for those purposes at the core of doing nails and building your business, we're always going to recommend get your acrylic game, get your gel game, Get your maintenance game strong. That's how you're going to make a ton of money and also not, you know, work so, so, so hard in that process. You know what I mean? So, so super important. Still utilize this. I don't think it's like a trend where it's going to come and go. I no. think it's here to stay for particular uses that we it's, went through. It's been around for, for a, a while. Yeah, they totally. Just have- gotten better way better yeah like totally. they look good yeah they really look good so, especially ours yes. i love <laughs> no seriously though like hashtag sponsored by young nails <laughs> sponsored by young nails <laughs> i am like i look at our tips though like i'm not just saying this they're the shape of them 
They are beautiful. They're beautiful. You know what would be cool too? Like put a, one hand on, you know, get that friend that's your guinea pig, your victim, and um, put one set of those on because the shape is like what you want your sculpted nails to look like. Totally. Exactly what you, and then try to copy it on the other hand by sculpting. That's good. Get your practice down yeah, because absolutely. Um, they are really beautiful. Yeah, they are the beautiful. The arch, the curve, the everything is really totally. great. Let us know in the comments below, how are you utilizing full coverage if you currently are doing so? Would love to hear all about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk.